This video will help you to set up your class data. To begin, launch MindSight from the desktop icon or your start menu. Your administrator should have created a user account for you and provided you with a password. Enter your username and password in the login fields located at the lower left-hand corner of the MindSight window. Once you log in, the main menu is displayed. You may use the main menu screen or the menu tree displayed at the left to access the features of MindSight. If you use the tree, you'll need to click the plus sign icons beside the visible headings in order to reveal additional headings beneath them. Click on the Profile button to review your user profile. You can change your password on this screen. Please review your IT policy before changing this. To change your password, click the Password checkbox. Enter and confirm your new password in the spaces provided. The minimum password length is 6 characters, and passwords are case-sensitive. Next, you will need to add user accounts for your students. From the main menu, click on Administration, then on Users, and then Add. Enter a username, password, full name, and email address. Ensure that the security role reads Student. You can also set a start date and expiration date for each user. When complete, click Save. Repeat this process for each student in your class. You can also import a list of users from a comma delimited or CSV file. To do so, select Import from the Users menu, then browse to the CSV file on your computer. Select the appropriate checkbox if the first line is a header, and confirm or change the appropriate delimiter and wrapper. Then, click Map Fields. Map fields to your CSV, including username, full name, email, and security role, and then click Import. In order to access content in the MindSight system, all user accounts must be members of at least one group. User accounts can be grouped by class period, by course, or by any other criteria you choose. An efficient way to manage access to the courses is to create multiple groups. To create groups, follow these steps. From the main menu, click on Administration, then Groups, and then Add. Under Group Settings, enter a group name. You can also set a start date and expiration date here. Under Contents, you will see a list of alphabetical users. This is an alphabetical list by first name of all users you have added. Use the buttons in the center to add members to this group. The Add All button will add the entire list to the group. Click on the Save button to save the group. In order for groups to access courses, a link must be made between the two. A catalog is a group of courses. The Groups to Catalog option lets you create that link. From the main menu, click on Content Management, then select Groups to Catalogs. The Catalog Assignment screen opens. Locate the course or course catalog to be assigned and highlight that row. Then, click the Assign button at the bottom of the screen. Under Contents, you will see a list of available groups. Use the buttons in the center to add groups to this catalog. Click on Save to save the catalog assignment. Your lab is now ready for students to log in and access courseware.